play at Wentworth um, with the boys, with Joe, Dom and Smithy. Um, got my ass handed to me, which was much fun actually. Um, Smithy and Dom were on fire. Gave us a bit of a crushing. My um, golf was a disaster actually. So bad actually, had to, didn't even finish five of the last six holes. I had to pick up because kept uh, losing balls, which was uh, which was a bit depressing. <laughs> Felt like a bit of a waste of, of four hours. Um, but it was good fun though. Good to get out, um, smash a few balls around, even though it was uh, in all uh, all directions. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I need a lesson. <laughs> Finished Battle of the Brits, which uh, was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a long week, but um, yeah, very, very worthwhile. Uh, the guys uh, had a good time on and off the court, really got into the spirit of the event, competed hard on the court, a lot of fun off the court, a lot of trash talking, all that stuff. But it was cool because they were all really into it and Basically, you'd go play your match, come off, get on the bike, see what abuse you've got in the group chat, get a shower, and then go and watch the other matches. So uh, it was cool. It was a nice. Uh, it was a nice atmosphere. Uh, long week, a lot going on, uh, and obviously like responsible or responsibility. If anything goes wrong, lies with <laughs> lies with me or falls on my shoulders. But uh, thankfully, it all went uh, it all went smooth. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, had a lot of nice feedback. I think through the week, a lot of uh, a lot of tennis fans happy to see tennis on the TV again. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, I hope everyone in uh, in the states who tuned in on Tennis Channel enjoyed it. So a lot of people basically have been asking what I am up to next um, now that I'm no longer Truman Director and it's yeah a bit up in there really I mean kind of just observing from afar about what's going to happen with the with the tour with the, um, the summer swing in the States um, not sure if I'd actually get into Washington if it if it goes on there's you know quarantine issues now as well for Americans or people based in America traveling back to the EU so um, you know if that's really strictly enforced and you know you have to do a 14 day quarantine after being in the States then you know that throws Madrid and Rome um, and I guess even French Open um, into, uh, into doubt for a lot of I guess European based players but I mean maybe even you know players from the rest of the world as well but yeah, there's still just a lot of uncertainty, which as, obviously as a player is frustrating because you don't really know what uh, what to prepare for. I mean, we obviously been back playing for maybe eight or nine weeks and it was nice obviously to have a tournament to prepare for. Now we've got another six weeks to wait for uh, for the next tournament, potentially longer. Um, so what do you do? I mean, it's tough to kind of keep getting up every day and going to the practice courts when you know, your, your next tournament's so far away and you don't know when or where that tournament's going to be. So, um, a bit frustrating, but obviously, um, I guess, keep things in perspective. There's a lot of other people a lot worse off than than, uh, than us tennis players. But, um, yeah, hopefully back on back on court soon with a with a proper or a, or a firmed up plan of, uh, of events.